Hello, I'm Robert Jones. Uh, today we'll continue our course, the top 25 Protestant reformers of the 16th century. We have reached number six, which is Philip Melanchthon. We start out with a quote, uh, which says, whoever does not recognize Philip as his instructor is a stolid, stupid donkey, carried away by his own vanity and self-conceit. Whatever we know in the arts and in true philosophy, Philip has taught us. He has only the humble title of master, but he excels all the doctors. There is no one living adorned with such gifts. He must be held in honor. Whoever despises this man, him will God despise. And not surprisingly, that was said by none other than Martin Luther. Melanchthon is born February 16th, 1497, uh, near Karlsruhe. 1507, he attends Latin school at Forsheim. 1509, he attends the University of Heidelberg. 1516, he gets his master's degree and publishes a trans translation of the Greek Terence. 1518, he becomes a professor of Greek at the University of Wittenberg, where he was invited by Luther himself. 1519, he responds to an attack on his theological views by Johann Eck with his uh, uh, defense uh, against Johann Eck. 1520, he receives a Bachelor of Theology and moves to the Theology School as a professor. November 25, 1520, he marries the mayor's daughter, Katharina Kropp. 1521, he defends uh, Luther. He publishes the first complete Protestant theology, uh, uh, translated to English, common places in the theology, or fundamental uh, doctrinal themes. Uh, 1528, he uh, publishes a book discussing his doctrine on salvation. 1529, he attends the Diet of Spire and attempts to convince representatives from the Holy Roman Empire to recognize Protestantism. This, of course, is a failure. 1530, he writes most of the Augsburg Confession, which becomes the doctrinal basis for the Lutheran denomination. 1532, he writes a commentary on the Epistle of Paul to the Romans. 1534 uh, has various discussions on the Eucharist, including with Martin Bousset and Cassel. 1535, he uh, writes a new and large version of his Common Places in Theology, or Fundamental Doctrinal Themes. 1546, he personally delivers the funeral oration for Martin Luther. 1548, he rejects the Augsburg Interim of Charles V because it isn't strong enough on justification by faith. December 1548 accepts the Leipzig Interim as a middle ground with the Catholics. Melanchthon is criticized by other Lutherans, and the words, good works are necessary for salvation, appear in the document. 1549, he writes a history of the life and actions of the very Reverend Dr. Martin Luther, faithfully written by Philip Melanchthon. 1557, Melanchthon's foes attempt to humiliate him at the Colloquy of Worms. April 19, 1560, he dies in Wittenberg. 1689, Breton, Melanchthon's hometown, is burned to the ground by French troops during the War of the Palatinate Secession. So Melanchthon uh, is kind of a moderate, or at least he's somebody who believes in uh, trying to bring different disparate parties together, especially bringing Lutherans and Catholics together. He's a Greek scholar, an author, a theologian and a preacher. The most significant f figure in the creation and spread of Lutheranism, except for Luther himself. He wrote most of the foundational document of the Lutheran Church, the Augsburg Confession, 1530, because it was not safe for Luther himself to travel to Augsburg. The first follower of Luther to write a complete theology, he wrote Common Places in Theology or Fundamental Doctrinal Themes in 1521. Uh, and Luther himself never wrote a complete uh, theology, uh, neither did Zwingli. Calvin, of course, did with uh, Christian Institutes. He wrote a biography of Luther, a history of the life and actions of the very Reverend uh, Dr. Martin Luther in 1549. He spent much of his life attempting reconciliation, both with the Reformed Church and the Roman Catholic Church. And as uh, with others who had tried the same thing, uh, these were all failures. Although the name of Luther is deservedly of good report, since he reverently occupied his talent, above all, must we render thanks unto God for that by this his servant, 
He has restored to us the light of his gospel. Let us then retain the remembrance of his ministry and spread his doctrines abroad. That's from the life and acts of Martin Luther by Philip Melanchthon in 1545. Among the various diets and councils that he attended were the Diet of Spire, the Diet of Augsburg, the Colloquy of Worms, as well as meetings to discuss the Augsburg Interim and the Leipzig Interim. Because he often took moderate positions in an attempt to bring two opposing sides together, he was often attacked by both sides. And sometimes one of the sides were other Lutherans. And that ends our overview of Philip Melanchthon.